y'all. Tonight we're going to be making butter. Um, this is our milk from our New Jersey cow, Elsa. And as you can see, there's a very distinctive line here where the cream is on top, and that's what we're going to be pulling off. Um, I have researched this, and I have seen people make um, butter using everything from a hand turner, an electric turner, a baby blender. Um, but we're just going to use our regular mixer. And um, I have done this several times, and it turns out great. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to skim the cream to I, until I get to this line. But I'm going to try to get as little milk as possible. This is nice and thick. And I'm just going to scoop that right out. start picking up the milk from the bottom you just want to stop and you can see I've definitely made a dent in that line so we're gonna put this to the side I've got a splash guard on my mixer just to kind of keep it from getting so messy and I'm also gonna cover this with a towel so it doesn't get quite as messy and I will let y'all look again in a minute when it starts to get into that thick, cool whip stage. We'll look at it again then. Okay, it, this has been on for about two minutes, and you can see it gets a little messy. That's why I cover it up. And you can see it's definitely starting to thicken up, but it's got a long ways to go, so we're just going to cover this and let it keep going. Okay, we're about five minutes into this, and it's really in that creamy stage but we're still a good ways from being done so we're going to just turn it back on for now and let it keep going okay we're about 20 ish minutes into this i did have a lot of butter and you can see it's really starting to thicken up i'm just going to kind of scrape it off on the sides now, it is not ready but we're gonna scrape it down and it is getting thick. You can see that it's thick, but we're just gonna keep it going. It's not ready yet. Okay, in this stage, we're about 25 minutes into it now. And you can see it's starting to get clotty like cottage cheesy almost it's getting very very close but we're still not done yet so we're going to keep it going i just wanted y'all to see the stage how clumpy it's starting to get it's getting close but it's not ready yet so we're going to keep it going okay you can see that this is really separated out We're going to turn it on just a little bit longer. You can watch and see how that buttermilk has really come out. And right now it's really separating. We've been going, which we've stopped and checked it a few times. But we've been going probably close to about 40 minutes now. And we're going to stop it there. Okay, and as you can see, all this butter has really stuck to this, and this down in here is just liquid now, and that's your actual butter milk. Um, now, my kids actually like to drink that. Some people give it to their animals. So, we are going to just pull this off now, and you have to wash this. So 
So we're gonna put this into our bowl. And what you're doing when you wash this is you gotta get the buttermilk off of it or it will go rancid. So I'm gonna get this all off and just run it under the sink water and use my spatula and press the milk out until my water gets clear. And we have a helper with us, so he'll be making some noises. Okay, so I'm just going to run some water in there and see how it's cloudy. I'm just going to press that with butter and work it in. And we'll do this several times, four and all. And rinsing. Kind of fold the butter into itself and try to get all that buttermilk out. We're just going to keep doing this until the water gets clear. We're just going to keep going until our water gets good and clear and we're, we're almost there. See, our water is still really good and clear. So our butter is done. And we're gonna work the rest of that water out and get it in a good, a good ball. And then we're gonna lay it out and form a stick and put it in the refrigerator. Okay, so we've gotten all the water out all the water out of there and we are going to lightly salt this with some heat Himalayan salt and mix that in before we do our forming it on our parchment paper so now I'm just going to put it over here work hard for your butter, you want to get it all off. And now I'm just going to form this into a stick. and I will put it in the refrigerator and it will be ready to use. Happy homestead, y'all.